A and B are integers such that 6A squared minus 13AB plus 6B squared equal to 21. Find the value of A and B. Okay. So because they are integers, one good way is to factorizing. So if I write the equation 6A squared minus 13AB plus 6B squared equal to 21. Now. I want to factorize. I say, for example, if I consider 6a, a, and I want to, for example, cr create this one, because here I have negative, for example, I place negative b, negative 6b. Then I can create 6a squared, 6b squared, minus 36ab, minus ab. It is not useful, because this part we have problems. So, we try to correct the coefficients. If you check a lot of ways, you will see that. For creating 6, I should place 2a, 3a. And for pre uh, creating 6b squared, I place negative 3b, negative 2b. So then I have 6a squared, also 6b squared, but ab. This times this will be negative 4ab. This times this will be negative 9ab, which will be negative 13ab, and that's correct. So, we factorize this, and this factorizing is useful in also other problems, other exams. So, it is 21. Now, the problem says a and b are integers. So, if you want to check, I can say it is 1, 21, 1 case. Let's consider first positive cases. And then for this one, let's consider negative 1, negative 21, yeah, positive and negative. And because mm, 2a minus 3b, 3a minus 2b, we can say, okay, I want to consider some, reject some cases. Okay, so let's write all of them. 3, 7, negative 3, negative 7. The next one is 7. Ne and 7, 3, negative 3, negative 7, negative 3, and 21. 1, negative 21, negative 1. So let me tell you how to calculate quickly these things. Look, for example, I, I explain one case, the other case I calculate quickly, I don't explain completely. So pay attention to first case. I say 2a minus 3b is 1. 3a minus 2b is also what is 21. So, if I want to calculate a, I multiply first one by 3, and I multiply second one by 2. So, it will be 6a minus 9b equal to 3, and the second one by 2. It will be 6a minus 4b equal to 42. Now, if I subtract second one minus first one, it will be what? 42. So, subtraction, first one, second one minus first one. Negative 4b minus minus 9, minus minus 9b will be 5b. 42 minus 3 will be what? Or we can say first one minus second one for other one to be easier. So it will be negative 5b equal to 3 minus 42, which will be negative 39, impossible. So let's check this one. I multiply first one by 3. So first one by 3 is negative 3. Minus second one by 2. Minus 42. So we will see that it is what like this negative 5b and we will see again impossible so for next one negative 5b first one times 3 3 times 3 9 minus second one times 2 2 times 7 14 and it will be negative 5 that's good so in this case b is 1 and if we replace with for example first one 2a minus 3b, which is 2a minus 3, 
equal to 3. So a equal to 3. So let's check 1, 3 works or not. 6, 1, 3 minus 13. A, B will be 3 plus 6 times 9, 3 squared. 54 minus 39, this, so it will be minus 33, 54 minus 33 will be 21, it's correct. So we found one answer, let me write the answers that we find. A3, B1, it's the first answer. Okay, let's erase all these things. So. This was bad, this was bad, this was good, and 3, 1 is answer for this part. Now, if we check here, negative 5b again is 3 times first 1, 3 times first 1, negative 9, minus 2 times second 1, minus 2 times this will be minus minus 14, plus 14, 14 minus 9, 5, so b will be negative 1. And if we check in first equation here, 2a minus 3b, which is 2a plus 3, equal to negative 3. So a will be negative 6 over 2a negative 3. And we can easily say, if we find one answer, then we can consider negative of that. So it's negative 3, negative 1. And let me tell you something. If you negate a and b, because both of them will be negative, so we can say it is another answer. So if you check only one of them from each part, for example, this, this, we only need to check one of them. If it has answer, we can only negate that. So the other answer is negative three and negative one. So let's check this one. Negative five B equal to three times first one. Three times first one is 21 minus Two times second one minus two times three six, which will be fifteen, and b will be negative three. Yes, and now a will be what? Because if uh, if you replace here, two a minus three b is seven. So two a minus three b, which is two a plus nine, equal to seven. So. The 7 minus 9 is negative 2, so a is negative 1. So here we found negative 1, negative 3. So you switch. For next one also, we can say, okay, you should negate. It will be 1, 3 for 21, 1. If we check, let me show 21, 1. Let me erase this part to write 21 and 1 here. Uh, 3 times first 1, 63. Uh -huh. At first, let me write negative 5b again. 3 times 21 is 63. Minus 2 times this, minus 2, 61. Impossible because 5b, negative 5b, 61. 61 is not multiple of 5. So we found four answers, negative 1, negative 3, and 1, and 3 for a and b. Let me write the homework for you. Okay, the homework is 12a squared minus 25ab plus 12b squared equal to 10. Solve this and comment your answers below this video. If you want to learn other ideas, you can send message to my number, WhatsApp number in the description also comments. And thank you. Bye.